Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. So, this Wednesday, it's the last in my Master of Malt Darkness series review. Now, I've been reviewing these for the last couple of weeks. I've reviewed some fantastic whiskies from the range, including a 21 year old Ardbeg last week, 15 year old Macallan, some Ben Rins, and we're finishing off with a 16 year old Klein Leash. Now, Klein Leash is a coastal highland distillery. Uh, this has been finished in an Oloros oh, an Oloroso sherry cask for three months, and that's the idea behind these darkness bottlings. They're taking aged whiskey, putting them into specially sized, specially custom made. 50 litre sherry casks for three months. And the smaller the cask, the more effect it has on the spirit. So it matures faster and you get a lot more flavour a lot quicker. Um, it's bottled at full cask strength for 54.9%. Um, it's natural colour. Look at that beautiful kind of brown tint you get to that colour. A nice kind of auburn, beautiful, beautifully coloured whiskey. That is a completely natural colour. There's no added caramel to that. Um, it's also non chill filtered, which basically means it contains all the natural oils and fats that are found in matured whiskey. So, let's get straight to the nose. 16 years old, Klein Leash. Although also finished. Now straight away, you get that kind of coastal um, Klein Leash character coming through, that's the first thing I notice. So it's a little bit meaty, slightly smoky, that kind of salty tang that I associate with Klein Leash. If you look back at my review from about a year ago or so, um, I reviewed the standard 14 year old Klein Leash and I talk about that kind of salty coastal tang. But then all the kind of fruits jump out, so it's really apparent that it's had this sherry cask aging. So I'm getting kind of really tangy orange, roasted walnuts, dried salty fruitcake. There's lots and lots of sherry cask influence. I'm getting a little bit of smokiness, but like it's a warm, heathery smoke. Really just warming, floral, heathery smoke. Getting a bit of kind of dried apricot, caramelised fruits. It also smells older than it is. You wouldn't, uh, you might even say it could be like this could be eighteen to twenty years old rather than sixteen, and that'll be down to that fast aging from the three month finish in this fifty litre cask. So let's move on to the palette. Again with this one, um, looking at their whole range of the darkness ones that I've tried, this is one for me that's most apparent to have had that big sherry cask influence. Um, so it's just rich, sweet sherry, lots of fig notes, lots of dried apricots, prunes, um, caramelised apple. Let's give it another taste. I'm also getting lots and lots of dark chocolate, black cherries, treacle. That smokiness comes through, but it's also quite a sweet smokiness. So the smokiness you do get from toasted oak um, has combined with that sherry character to give it that kind of sweet, fruity smoke. Um, fantastic. Let's give it one more try for some final notes and the finish. I get um, kind of salted, dark chocolate digestive, so there's like a biscuitiness, that dark maltiness comes through, and the finish, that maltiness comes back, but it's in the form of kind of like almost a porter, or a stout, that kind of dry, heavily roasted malt. Um, 
lots of Christmas pudding notes in the finish. And again, the finish goes on and on. You wouldn't necessarily think this was 16 years. Um, you might think it was 18 or 20. It's long, it's sweet, and it's a spicy finish. Um, I have to say, I'm massively impressed by that. I mean, Klein Leash is a great little whiskey, and I haven't tried an awful lot, because there's not an awful lot about Klein Leash other than um, independent bottlings. But that is awesome. Uh, 16 years old, Klein Leash Oloroso cask finished by Master of Malt at 54.9% ABV. Um, it's easily a 9 out of 10, uh, value for money wise. I think it's a fantastic whiskey. It's rich, it's bold, it's spicy. Um, one more taste, sorry, I've got a bit, I've got a bit. Mm, almost get like a, a really black, kind of a black coffee note as well. Bit of spice, bit of dryness. That is awesome, nine out of 10. Um, let me know if you've tried the Darkness Kleinish 16 year old, please leave me a comment either on Twitter, in the comment box below, or on Facebook. I'm on those social media sites. Um, I always put my links in the description below. Um, share the video, as always, you guys are great for watching my videos. And I'll see you next week. In the next coming weeks, I have got some rather eclectic whiskies to review. I've got a, um, a Port Charlotte by Brook Laddie. I've got a Tin Cup, a Colorado-based whiskey, which is really good. Um, what else have I got? Ockentosh and Three Wood, I'm going to be reviewing. Um, Wild Geese, Irish whiskey, and lots, lots more. Every week, every Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. As always, Thank you very much, and I will see you guys and girls next week. Bye-bye.